Hello everybody, welcome to back to some more Banish with me, Balzar. Uh, let's see where we were. I think uh, our goal today will be try to get a little bit closer to this river instead of our trade depot. I don't know if I can do that within a lot amount of time. It was a very long day at work. So, we'll see what we can do. Plus, that river is very far away. So, it's going to be like a neighborhood here. I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a neighborhood here. And that will be something. And then we'll do a neighborhood here. We'll have a market here. That way these can uh, share stuff. And this will be its own little independent neighborhood way over here. And they will be uh, mostly comprised of fishermen and everything else. And maybe we'll just expand out this way a little bit later. Anyway, that's the plan. But yes, if you couldn't tell, I still have my cold. And... Still got the sniffle, so I apologize if I cough into the microphone. I really don't intend to do that. So, anyway, back to some more banish. We really need to build another storage barn. We're full, full, full. I know, I know. But I really just kind of want to wait till we get this place cleared out and we can um, build a storage barn here. And then. Like this overflow will eventually make its way over this way to start out with. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll uh, pull the road and make it go well to that rock. For some reason, I haven't got that rock. Really? You, who just walked through the rock. Why don't you take care of that? You know what? I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll just to go ahead and uh, build our storage barn and just uh, everything will get taken care of eventually. So, let's zoom out real quick so I can get a good. I think it'll be good right there there. Pretty, that's a pretty flat land. These mountains here aren't too bad. Actually, we could just go straight across. And if we build a tunnel through this mountain, I think we'll be uh, pretty set up pretty fine. So. We'll build that there. Make sure. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay, so road and road. And then uh, we'll get a couple of houses going, and we should be good to go. So, let's try to road. Okay. And a road. Perfect. We'll start with four houses right here for this little neighborhood and as soon as they get all that stuff expanded out and cut away and everything else we should be grand let's see remove everything just right there see we're doing really good on food Firewood, logs could be better, but that will come when we start chopping away everything. Yeah, medicine and tools could be better, but let's go check on our blacksmith. He should have everything he needs. Yep, we're on 50. So yeah, he's way off, so I up him a little bit. Just for now. Check, make sure everybody's got a job, and if Oh yeah, everybody's got jobs. Six builders for everything we need to do. So, hopefully we can make it happen. Alright guys, to work. Look at him go. Yes, everything's full. 
The production limit has been reached. So we have we have 500 wood. So we can up you a little bit more because we're going to get more people. We'll do more things. Yeah, as far as I know, food does never it doesn't go bad just sitting out here in the storage. So it's no big deal. And hopefully they'll uh, eventually see cleared out the rock. Eventually get our little area here done. In fact, we can go ahead and make our road from here. I like straight roads. I don't like crooked roads. That work for now. But everybody's very healthy and very happy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Our foresters foresting up. piece of road? Come here. Really? Ugh. We could really put another fishing dock here. Stuff, so. We nearly need to get our trade depot going. So we have like 131 tools. We still don't have any extra clothes though. Taylor, what are you doing, man? But everybody's got a house. No homeless people, which is good. Did I build a Taylor? I could have swore I did. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. That's no good. So we have plenty of leather. Oh, yeah. 70 leather? So. Let me see here. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. There. Nope. There we go. Huh. Huh. Don't want to queue up too many things, but at the same time, don't want to queue up too few, few, fuel, few, few. Gosh, can't talk today. Like I said, it was a rough day at work. 12 hour shift, no big deal. limit 450 yeah you just need hide coats yep health's going down but then it is cold but everybody should be getting plenty of firewood plenty of food plus they're making this long trek out here So that's why they're not happy, and that's why they're not getting healthy. I know it's far. Hmm. Oh, is he out of, are we out of logs? We are out of logs.
Hmm. There we go. And another forester. Come on now. Huh, I'm trying to think why where are y'all going? Do I not have enough gatherers? Or builders? What's going on? Six builders. Or I don't have enough laborers. Nobody to go out there and actually cut the stuff down. Hmm. I guess that'll all come a time. The kids start growing up, but it's only year seven, so we're good. And see, as you can see, our uh, health is going back up, our happiness is going back up, our food's staying about the same, so we should be fine. I know we'd run out of logs eventually with the firewood, so I think we're good. I think we're just going to put you back down to 900. Just because I know I don't want to run out of firewood because, oh man, they start freezing. That's, you know, they start getting sick and it's just not good for you. Not good at all. So... Let's see here. Hmm. Man, this is taking a while. I fear they'll be getting on it. But looks like they're going about their busy little lives. Doing things. I think we can speed this up if we just try to drop our builders down and pull them back to laborers. They'll start gathering more stuff. Because when they don't have jobs or anything going on, I believe that's what they do. They uh, turn into laborers, and the laborers are the ones that go out here and start cutting stuff down. See? There he goes. And they'll get that cleared out in no time. Yeah, I should really just bring this out to here. Eh, I'll, I'll wait. So taking this road. It's kind of slowing everything down, but not too bad. Not too shabby. And the more laborers we get in time, the faster this will go. But late autumn, really don't want them making that trek in the cold. Like now, well, we'll watch the health and the happiness. If it goes low, if it, go, if it gets too low, then I'll pull them back. Turn them back into builders or something for now.
there they go. We. Yeah, I think I'll span this road out here. Make it a. Uh, much this firewood? How much stone? Eh. There we go. I think that'll work out just fine. In fact, we could probably make another little village type thing here. Then we have one right here. I think that'll work out fine too. Then we'll have all this for crops and maybe some farmland, some pasture. Once we get our trade depot set up, we can actually get some animals and some stuff, so. Uh, we don't have enough iron. Hmm. Yeah, that's good, and then we can build something for them to do. We'll build another fishing dock. Let me check, see. The, okay, so he goes out to about here. So we can put another one right there, and that'll be fine. This road out to here. So, whoop. Yeah, right there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this would be a perfect place for. No. Oh, wow. There they go. See? Already filled up the storage barn. Nice yummy things to do. Now they're cutting everything out. Alright. Oh. All those kids came to age really quick while I wasn't paying attention. Alright. Chop it all down. I really need to build wells because if I don't, I'll forget and there might be. Any of those disasters are turned off, I don't trust it. So. Hmm. There we go. Good enough. Rear road. Span that out to there. Put this here. Ah. Better. Okay. Then we'll uh make our storage area. Stockpile me. Right there. That way, it'll be right by the barn, and they can bring all this stuff. They don't have to walk super far. And they can bring it all to the barn. Okay. So. So, yeah. Sweet. Let's uh, start making our uh, little industry. Give those people jobs to do. Gather's hut. I think we'll put down here. Kind of away from society and such so they can gather in peace with nothing bad happening, but I want to kind of.
Okay. That uh, didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, so it's a little bit off the road, but no big deal. There's a little bit of space, but what are you going to do? Woodcutter? Whoa. Where'd he go? I saw it. Was I not paying attention? Yeah, woodcutter. Hmm. There you go. You can be right there. So we'll have a gatherer's hut and a woodcutter pretty close by. Fisherman. Pretty close, so. Two of four. There. So, food's going up, that's good because population is rising. We always want to watch that. So, when we get this gatherer's hut going, they'll add a little bit more to it and they don't have to go very far because they can put that stuff right there. And I think we can probably put another couple more shoremen. Yeah, we can add a shoreman here and here. Kind of keep this pl place open. So, won't really affect too much. We got a shore house. Let's see here. Perfect. One right there, and I think this will be. I don't know if I talked about this last time, but they do frog legs, they can catch turtles, and they can dig sand. And sand is used for uh, making glass. For I don't know, because I, I can't find any way to trade it. Or cool stuff. But yeah, if we can uh, start working through this mountain, that'd be great too. So, I think I'll just have my guys come here. Yeah, start. You don't need to take off quite that much, but that will be great. So remove all that, and I think I'll put a hunter's lodge down here by the, uh, pardon me, by the, uh, gather set. And that will use the road, so there we go. Hunter's lodge, everything else, so... Let's check on and see how everybody's doing for jobs. Nine, huh? So a couple of y'all can go do that. We'll have some fishermen. One more shoreman. And everything else seems to be filled up. Okay. Look at him go. Short worker, everything. Good job. Oh, because you don't have any leather? Well, we got 26 coats, so we're doing alright. And what's that? So, what's that? Uh, yeah, they're doing alright, so... We should be fine. 99 logs, stone... Still don't have enough iron. Oh, that's cold. We have iron. Doing good on tools. So you really don't want to be caught with no tools. I don't know if I said that, but uh, you want to see a production halt real quick? If things not getting done, run out of tools. Later when we get our... everything established, fine, then we can I'll show you guys. You can pretty much trade for tools. So that's 124 stone. We have 28. Whew. That's going to be rough. But that puts right there. So, let's see if we can do. Yep, that's what it's going to be, though. Oh, saving. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Need a body? There you go. Another woodcutter. That way these folks are always got plenty of firewood. 
Hopefully. Enough fish. How y'all doing? Yeah, looks like y'all got everything you need. Okay, cool. So. We have firewoods at nine. That's fine. Try to keep it around there. I mean, even though you... Food's going up. really start going up once I hi dears so really just need to go in here and just need to come down and we're probably going to take all this stone and iron out here so because we're going to need it so stone and iron there's some more iron and stone not too far away Take all that too. Well, that little bit. Some more stone. And some more stone. It's not too bad. Yep, reserve stone is low. I know, because we're using it all in this tunnel. This tunnel is going to save us a little bit of time because we can, uh, Set up our trade depot here, and we'll be uh, pretty much squared away. There's a rock in the middle of the freeway for some reason. Take care of that. Trees can grow because trees are renewable and they'll always come back. The stone, when you run out of that, you're pretty much done. That's why you're always ever expanding. That's a little bit too far to go. Well, it's not really too far to go. I just don't want them going up there right now. But yeah, we got to build up this neighborhood right here. Might put our market there. I don't know yet. I mean, it's a little far. Well, it's about in the middle. Let's see. It might be just kind of just SOL because everything's so far apart. So we might have to... Hmm. As long as we get these two barns in there, let's see what we got. Uh, market, market, market. It's over here. Schoolhouse. Yeah. It's a little far. But it will get these houses. I could put it here be kind of centrally located but uh really far walk for the trade depot I mean anything we do is going to be far walk for the people with the trade depot but I think right there would be good we'll just have to remember get our market set up your market is uh they'll pretty much take everything out of your storage barns and put it who's getting sand dang I didn't want you to get sand I wanted you to get frog legs catch turtles but I don't think they're I don't think you produce as much man you know what let's check let's put one against the other we'll put this one against this one and we'll see how many turtles versus frog legs they catch so we'll check on that later 239 Eight. So we'll see. So, yeah, population is coming along. Tunnel is built. That was quick. Goody, goody. Okay. Get rid of all this. Whoa, don't cross the river, though. Do your crazy death march. Eh, you don't need to go that far. That's good. Just right there. Then we can bridge over. And we'll get some more stuff. We'll make some more fishing docks and then uh, get our trade depot built. So we'll obviously have enough stone and wood, hopefully. 
we don't turn all old firewood. Let's check on our jobs. Let's see. Pork gatherers. There we go. That will help out a lot because I was not paying attention and there we go. And we'll take you down to two. Perfect. Let's see how are you doing? Not too bad. 164. I mean we could be doing better, but you just start gather yeah, huts. If you get a lot of them, I don't know if they, a lot of uh, things say that they require old growth forest and they do better than, or, and not new growth forest, but as y'all saw, I pretty much cut all this down and it seems to be doing about the same. So, I mean, I don't know. Let's chop it all down. All right. Let's see here. Everything's going very smooth. Very good. Been 10 years. So, let's see here. 99 turtles and 11 frog legs. And what have you done? 132 frog legs. So, so far not as many, but it's only been one year or so. Come on. Put a couple of houses, fishermen farms. Oh yeah. I mean that storage barn isn't way too far. I mean would it be better if it was closer? Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I think once we expand further and further, we'll get better. But yeah, our wells will stop us from uh, if our house catch on fire. Right so, like I said, I know I got disasters turned off, but it would be unfortunate to have a fire. At winter time, everybody go inside and get warm. 53 coats, so we could. So we can do. About 100 tools and about 50 coats. Not Actually, we could probably do more coats because coats sell pretty good. Tools always sell good. So, yeah, as long as he keeps sh pushing up them tools, we'll be alright. Wow. Made a lot this season. He's getting better at it. Good for him. I think we could set up another blacksmith I really do because I mean iron wood is pretty plethora preferable over here plus these people all need jobs and such so I mean I got 47 people and a bunch of them are gatherers so I think we could do that but I think I'll wait because I want to said I want to get my trade depot trade dock built up look at that food We got more food than we know what to do with. So we're doing really good. In fact, I bet you I could have, if I just built the houses, I could have a population boom. Easy. Oh yeah, we're full. So we can just, how much stone do we have? We got,
Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Two more houses. Yeah. Go ahead and make it three. What's low? Iron. Iron's always low. And shit, you know what? I forgot to look. Eh, ten iron. So, use thirty. So we could probably find some more iron. Let's take a gander. There. This little stone. There's some iron. A little bit. here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I pretty much snatched all of it. It was easy to get to. So, now we can build our trade depot. Where is it at? Trading dock, trading dock, trading dock. No, no, no. Gosh. Yeah, silkworm huts. I could really just build a mine. Kind of thought it was too early, but maybe it's time to just go ahead and just bite the bullet. Build the mine. And get it going. Well, where? This fishing dock. Trading pup. Huh. There it is. Okay. There we go. So we'll build our road. That. Out here. We'll build a couple of wooden houses because iron's running low. Actually, you know what I want? Actually, we're doing okay on food, so we don't have to do that right now. But I will open it, leave it open for some more fishing docks and some more uh, shoremen. But yeah, I think we can build our uh, our mines here, and I think we'll be okay. And that way, that will take care of that ever short shortage of iron that we seem to be going through oh, there it was iron iron oh man come on what one, one thing is another Oh, there it goes. I'll we'll have to go right there. The quarry can go next to it. Whenever it gets built. We only got 21 stone? How do we only have 21 stone? Who wants to live next to the iron mine? It's very peaceful, I promise. Eh. Oh well. 
Let's go hunting for some more stone. I'm sure we can find some someplace. Somewhere. Some more stone. Oh, y'all out of your stuff too? Need more leather. And you need more iron. Well, I am working on the iron. There's more stone. Right there. So we'll just take that from you. I think we'll be alright to clear out these trees too, but. Eh, screw it. I kinda like them, but they're kinda in the way. Some more stone up here we can take. Oh, I don't want to harvest trees. There we go. Stone. Lots of stone and iron up there. Really? Oh, that's fine because some of this is going to go to the training post when I get it built. Wow, we are out of stone and iron. Well, darn it, darn it, darn it. There's some stone and iron. We might just take all this stuff. Take that. Yep, yeah, here we go. Some more iron. Some more iron. A little bit more stone. Woo! <laughs> yeah, take all of it. No. I need y'all going out and getting lost in the woods and dying on me. So. Y'all can take that stone too. Or iron, sorry. And click the stone going down here too. So as you don't try to wade yourself across the river will be fine. Yeah, we're at max speed too. Come on guys, you can do it. I believe in you. Everything is full, I know it's full. It's okay though. Oh, okay, let's see what's going on with this. So, 220 frog legs versus 154 turtles. I mean, it adds food variety. I guess it makes them happy. So, why not? There's some more iron right there. Just take all that. Don't mess with the gatherers or the hunters. So they need to get what they can get. Keeps all fed, fat, and happy. Oh, almost 50 people. Our little population, our little town's growing. As soon as we get some more iron, as soon as we get stone, we'll be sitting pretty. I mean, it will happen eventually. We're gonna have to bump up the firewood a little bit, though. I can foresee that going away. I'm just surprised the sand. We gotta get rid of that. Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention, just taking up useless space. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. As long as we can get our stone and our iron, we'll be fine. 
This one might run a little long. I try to keep these around 45 minutes, but this one might go into an hour for you. But hey, you get to watch more Banished. Halfway there with our iron. I don't know if we'd go faster if we had more builders. Because the builders don't really place things, I don't think. But whatever. Let's see here. More foresters. Eh, that's about right. We'll keep it there for now. Because when we get our iron mine, we're going to... That's 15 people right there. What is this? Somebody's free... Oh, he almost got himself a jacket. Can't believe someone... Whoa, somebody's freezing? Who's freezing? You're freezing. Because you're out in the cold. You're not freezing no more. You had to go home and get warmed up real quick. There's our iron mine. That didn't take very long at all. Yep. I guess it's the builders that go get the stuff and bring it to you. Okay, so... And then... Miners. We'll take five. That'll work for now. We'll have a steady supply of iron. The only thing is, though, you need to get candles. Because it'll take 120 candles to make a deeper mine. Or I can just smash it and build another one. Because the first upgrade is candles, the next upgrade after that is uh, lanterns. But, we just need to come up with 10 more stone and we'll be good to go with our fishing dock. Or our trade depot, sorry. Fishing dock. And then, we'll of course be uh Hide coats, iron tools. The tours are getting low. Well, not really. They're about the same. And we can always sell it. So, whoa. 200? Really? More like 2,000. Eh, coal, I don't care about. Never mind for it. Never went after it. I know it can. I think it can be used for, uh, the place of firewood, but I'm not too sure about that. But look at that. Very nice. Everybody's got a nice little house to stay in. So, it just the iron mines and the quarries, though, take up 15. So, I mean, that's like kind of a huge chunk of your population in the beginning. So, I don't know. To me, it seems like a lot. Okay, come on. I need three more units of iron. That's all we need. It looks like y'all got a little bit done, but... I think I might have made too many, uh... Stone... Or... Don't have enough, um... Gatherers. Laborers. Oh well. It'll eventually get there. I promise. Like I said, this game's all about finding the balance and making things work together. Hope they like fish. That's what they're eating. Fish and blueberries. Let's see. 21 iron. Eh, ain't too bad. Oh, there we go. Build, my people, build.
And done. All right. Okay. Let's uh, pause it real quick. And we'll open our this guy. We have two, three, so one builder and then trader. I always want to put two because some people say you only need one, but that poor guy has to go and get everything and bring it all in there and do the inventory and things just seem to work a little bit faster when uh, you have more people. So how are we doing all tools? We have 104 tools, so I want uh, whoa, 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 slow down. I think 60 would be a good number to start with here. And then coats, we had 29. And I'll take 20 coats in here. And then firewood, we always have more than enough. So we can probably, hopefully we can sell that pretty cheap. So we can trade firewood, sand, hey, that's what they want then I'll be sure to give it to them they will give me money for it whatever so I think that's pretty much it I really don't want to trade any food even though we could afford it but nah I'm kind of iffy about that and plus food it's like you only get one so that's it but anyway we got our trade depot set up so we'll just uh, my guys will start getting stuff from town and we'll start trading merchant. I think I'll turn this into a pasture and a um, farm. And we'll have some stuff over here. We'll, we'll kind of build down. Maybe put a quarry around here somewhere. And we'll start expanding. And then we can start expanding up. Get rid of all this. And move on. Because we really need to start industrializing and getting bigger and bigger. But anyway, that's it for me, everybody. Thanks for watching me. Uh, this is Banished, and don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and everything else. I pretty much respond to every comment, so feel free to ask me any questions about this game. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm Balls Harry, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.